Myself? Yeah. I, I consider myself American, period. Yeah? An American. Mm, I guess more American. I mean, I consider my heritage and my culture like Latino descent, but I don't. For myself, I don't necessarily. I mean, that's just my roots, but I still consider myself more American than anything. So I'm assimilated. Yeah, where you, like uh, what are your parents? What are their ethnicities, or where are they from? Mm, parents, they're both Latino. Descent. My mom's a fully Latino, like Mexican. My dad's half Mexican, and then there's like Irish and African American. There's mixed of everything on his side, but mostly European. So on my dad's side. So how do you identify yourself? Are you Mexican, American, Mexican American, Latino, Chicano? You know what? Let's just say I'm white, but I have the heart of a Mexican. <laughs> you can understand that. Okay. Mexican American. American. Oh, American. American. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but you're Mexican descent. Are your parents from Mexico? Or? No. Also from America. Uh, East LA, same. Uh, same East LA. I'm actually third generation. Okay. Here, so. Do your parents speak Spanish? Uh, yeah, my my mother does. My father has passed away, so uh, my mother speaks Spanish. We grew up uh, not really in a Spanish-speaking household, but uh, my mom always spoke Spanish with my grandmother. You know, my, my grandmother was actually from Texas, so the borderline of Mexico, mm -hmm. and um, so she speak speak mostly Spanish. You know, but uh, you know, to us, she spoke some English, but. Behind our backs, and uh, they didn't want us to know anything. They spoke Spanish, <laughs> so that's how they kept us from speaking Spanish. And then, and then also too, back then in the in the seventies and sixties, they didn't uh, allow people to speak Spanish in school. So it was a little different in East LA. So that's why one of the reasons why my mother they were taught us Spanish because uh, we we were they weren't allowed to speak Spanish and they got punished. Do you, do you wish that you you could have learned Spanish when you were younger? Yeah. Yeah, it made it a lot easier, especially nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> you know, most of the people nowadays, even at where I work in a warehouse, they're Spanish speaking. So that's how I learned, because you have to. Yeah. You know, but other than that, I mean, I just speak nothing but English. You know, so, and you know, every now and then, you know, Spanish, but more playing around than anything. Yeah. No, they call me uh, Mexican American. But what do you call, what do you call yourself? Mexican American. Mexican American? American. Mexican American? We're called Mexican American, we're from here, we're called Chicanas. Or Chicanos. That's what it's called. Okay. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a Chicana though? No, well, Mexican American. Mexican American. Okay. Uh, have you, uh, how do you self identify? Are you American, Mexican? American. Uh, okay. How do you identify yourself? Are you Mexican, American, Mexican American, Chicano, or Latino? No matter for me. <laughs> <laughs> huh? But like, if someone's talking about you, how do they, you want them to? Like, what do you want them to say? Like th that you're Mexican, or would you like to be like, like after you get your citizenship, would you like them to call it, start calling you American or Mexican American? American. American. Latina. Huh? Latina. Mm. Latina? Alright. Oh, I'm an American citizen. American? Yeah. Okay. Okay, the heritage between Mexicans belongs to my family, not to me. Uh. My kids are my heritage. They have my heritage. They're, my kids, seven of them, don't speak a word of Spanish. Because to me, Spanish is a secondary language. English is not How do you identify yourself? Are you American, Mexican, Mexican-American, Latino, Chicano, or something else? People get confused on those words. I, I would be able to tell you the terminology, all the definitions of them, exactly. But I'm believed to be Mexican because I was born in Mexico by two Mexican, full-blood Mexican parents. I live in America but I'm still Mexican. What do you consider yourself though? I would have to say Mexican to stay loyal to my blood, but I'd say I live more American than Mexican. 